A major update in a story this team first brought you back in April. You'll remember this. A Virginia breeding facility with thousands of dogs was cited for a whole bunch of violations. And now, after weeks of back and forth with the courts, the company has agreed to turn over every last dog for adoption. Casey Nolan has been all over this story from the beginning. And Casey, I guess a lot of people were pulling for this. They were, Leslie. We're talking about 4,000 dogs who have never known any life other than inside this facility now with the chance to be adopted into a home. But while activists see this as good news, they also say it came way too late. Bred and kept in cages, then shipped around the world in the name of science. Activists say thousands of beagles in this Cumberland, Virginia facility were neglected and even abused. This facility did business for 60 years, primarily for raising and breeding beagles to then sell to other laboratories where uh, experimenters have done atrocious cruel tests on these animals. Dan Payton is with the animal rights group PETA. While selling dogs to labs for experiments is legal, earlier this year PETA exposed dozens of alleged animal welfare violations, which federal inspectors later confirmed. This is in Vigo's facility here, just outside of Cumberland. It's on a gravel road with an unmarked fence. When WUSA first reported the violations in April, the company that runs the facility in Vigo promised to improve conditions for the dogs. In Vigo later announced it would close the facility. After a Department of Justice lawsuit this week, in Vigo agreed to turn over all of its nearly 4,000 dogs to the Humane Society and to pay $100 per dog to help with the cost of adoption a fraction of what it will take, says PETA. It is expensive. These animals will uh, undoubtedly need care, veterinary care, a lot of patience, um, probably a lot of work from behaviorists. Now PETA and both of Virginia's U.S. senators are asking what took so long, because it was this time last year when a federal inspector cited the company for the first of its now 74 violations, but did not take any enforcement action. Now, as for when these dogs could be ready for adoption, the company has 60 days to turn them all over. The Humane Society plans to place them in shelters along the East Coast and even into the Midwest. Leslie? They had such an awful start. Hopefully they'll have a better ending for sure. Casey, Absolutely. thank you.